Now let's go to the tax collector, Zakayo, if you may. The Uganda Revenue Authority is now speaking of extending the waiver or to June 30th, uh, decrying a low turn-up uh, of uh, the business uh, community in an engagement. Uh, let's listen uh, to Zakayo. Out of the 3,500 businesses eligible for a waiver of penalties related to the IFRIS, only 2,430 businesses turned up to take advantage of the amnesty from the taxman. In Chikubo, for instance, just 43% of the targeted taxpayers turned up. URA Assistant Commissioner of Public and Corporate Affairs Ibrahim Bosang blames the traders' leadership, which he says has discouraged members from partaking the exercise. Now it's important for people to know that we needed people to come physically for the reversal because the reversal is by uh, a statute, the Tax Procedures Code Act, which requires that somebody has to formally submit uh, a request for a reversal with reason and also get a response. Now, we expected 3,500 taxpayers on our register. Those are the taxpayers who had IFRIS penalties because of non-issuance of invoices or e-receipts. However, uh, at the end of the exercise, we were able to record 2,430 taxpayers, and this represented 69% of them who turned up. However, the chairperson of the Kampala City Traders Association, Thaddeus Museke, says URA should streamline its offering to business people rather than resorting to blame games. I didn't like the way URA handled that matter, but we encouraged members to go so that the waiver is, impl the waiver is implemented. But why can't it automatically be waived off? And by the another thing which is intimidating, they are being forcefully, forcefully being sensitized about IFRS. So everything is force, force, force. Let us have harmony. In a bid to have more businesses benefit from the waiver on IFRS penalties, URA has extended the grace period to 30th of June this year. They can still come before the 30th of June and be able to exercise their rights to get a penalty reversed. Let's get to the markets now.